Hi this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to another tutorial on Java programming language. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be learning about the disk keyword in Java. So now the first thing is what is this disk keyword? And if you know that we're going to be creating the objects from the classes and then we're going to store the references in some reference variables and then by using the dot operator and the reference variables you know we're going to be calling the methods. And sometimes the methods will need to refer to the object that invoked it. And at that time, we're going to be using this, this keyword. So this can be used inside the methods to refer to the current objects, which is nothing but the object from which we are calling the method. So um, if it is confusing now, don't worry, you know, when we see this in example, it's going to be clear. All right. Now here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose, I have created a project called this and then I have the oops package in my source folder and then inside this oops package I have a couple of classes student which is empty and then this tutorials class where I have this main meta. Alright now before explaining about this I want to guys to teach you something about instance variable hiding and now here first we're gonna define a couple of instance members for the student class and let me call it as name and then we can have another one and let me call it as age and then we're gonna have a method and let's say it's gonna be introduce and from this introduce method we're just gonna print out the values of this name and age members so we're just gonna use the print line statement and here we're gonna say uh, name is and then we're gonna append the name and then we're gonna say and age is and then we're gonna append the age all right now we have a simple class called student with the two instance members you know name and age and then we have a method called introduce now we're gonna create an object of the student class in our tutorials class inside my main method so it's gonna be student let me call it as anil equal to new student and then let me initialize the name and age members so it's gonna be anil dot name equal to and then we're gonna say um, anil and then we're gonna say anil dot age equal to 24 all right now we have this object anil we have initialized the members of this anil object then we're gonna call the introduce method on this anil object all right now if i run this program it's gonna print out name is anil and age is 24. so here when we call this introduce method on this anil object you know this introduce method is gonna access the values stored for the name and age members for this anil object and it's gonna print out that now inside this introduce method let's have a couple of variables local variables so they're gonna be of string type and let me call it as name and let me initialize this one to a value of let's say um, shetty or you know any string value and then we can have another one and it's gonna be of integer type and I'm gonna name it as age and I'm gonna initialize a value of 35. So now we have this name and age as the class members and then we have this name and age as the local variables. Now if I run this program you guys can see here name is shetty and age is 35. That's not the value we were intended to access. Here we have initialized name variable of this anil object and we have this value of 24 to the age of this anil object and when we call this introduce method we are getting the value which we have stored for this local variables name and age here in this introduce method you know these local variables are hiding the existence of this instance variables you know when we call the introduce method on this anil object you know at that time the name of the anil object is going to contain anil and age of the anil object is going to contain the age which is 24 we have stored and then when we call this introduce method at that time this local variables name and age are going to hide these 
instance variables. So here the local variables are hiding the instance variables and that's why we are getting name is Shetty and age is 35. So here when we have a local variable with the same name as the instance variable at that time the instance variables presence will be hidden inside that method. So here inside this introduce method now if you want to refer to this name and age members or you know if you want to refer to this instance variables then what you can do is you can use this and then we can access them by using the dot operator. So this dot name and this dot age. Here this refers to the object from which we are calling this introduce method. So now I'm gonna run this program first. Now you guys can see name is Anil and age is 24. So here what happened is when we call this introduce method on this Anil object and when we refer to the this inside that method at that time this will point to the object from which we are calling this method and uh, that's why this will point to Anil object and then we are using the dot operator to access name instance variable of that object. So it's going to point to the name member of this Anil object and that's why it's going to return the value which we have stored for this name member which is Anil. And similarly for this age, this will refer to the object from which we are calling this method and that's why it's going to be Anil object and then we are accessing the age member using the dot operator and that's why it's going to return the value which we have stored in this age instance variable for this anil object. So here this is one use of the this keyword. This will always refer to the current object from which we are calling or you know we are accessing method or you know a property or you know an instance member. All right, the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is what's gonna be the use of this this keyword. Here we have seen the one use. You know, we can use this, this keyword to avoid instance variable hiding. Another use is gonna be, let's say we can have a constructor student and then here, let's say this student is gonna take a couple of parameters and they're gonna be of the same name as the instance variables. So here it's gonna be string name and int age. Now in this constructor also, you know, this name and age local variables are gonna be hiding these instance variables. So at that time we can use the this keyword. So we're gonna use this dot name equal to name and then we're going to write this dot age equal to age. Now here this dot name will refer to the instance variable name and only name will refer to this local variable name. Similarly for this dot age will refer to the instance variable age and then this age will refer to the local variable age. All right. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this local variables for this introduce method and then here while creating the object we need to pass a couple of uh, values. So I'm going to pass anil and then we're going to pass an integer value let's say 24 and now if I run this I know it's going to print out uh, name is anil and age is 24. All right, here when we use this this inside a constructor, you know, this will refer to the invoking object. Now, the next thing that I want you guys to teach you is the use of this keyword. In the tutorial on the constructors, I have told you guys that we can call one constructor from another constructor. And I haven't explained how we can do that. So here I'm going to explain that one and to call one constructor from another constructor, we're going to be using the this keyword. So here, let me have a couple of constructors and let's say it's going to be taking one parameter and let me call it as name. And here we're going to initialize this dot name equal to name. 
and then we're gonna have another constructor and in this constructor let's say it's gonna take um, an integer value and let me call it as age and in this constructor we're gonna initialize the age property or you know the age instance variable all right now we can call the constructor from another constructor so here let me close this one all right so to call a constructor inside another constructor we're gonna be using the this keyword so it's gonna be this and then we need to use a pair of parentheses and then we need to specify the parameters they take so here instead of the constructor name that you want to call we're gonna be using the this keyword and then just like the way we call the methods and pass parameters we're gonna pass the parameters so here to call this constructor which is gonna take a string parameter so it's gonna be this and then name all right this is how we're gonna call a constructor from another constructor now if you guys wanted to call this constructor which is gonna take uh, an integer value then we need to pass an integer value here we're just gonna pass age and then you know it's gonna call this constructor which is gonna take the integer value and the important thing to consider or you know note is when you call a constructor from another constructor the statement which is gonna call another constructor should be the first statement so here we are calling the constructor and this should be the first statement for example if i have another statement here then it's gonna produce the error you guys can see here it says constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor so when you call a constructor from another constructor you need to write that as the first statement you know after calling this constructor in the first statement you guys can have as many other statements so here we're just gonna say uh, constructor with two parameters all right now another thing is from one constructor you can call another constructor only once you can't call the constructor twice in one constructor which is nothing but i can't have another statement and here i'm gonna call the constructor which is gonna take the string parameter this is not valid you can have only one statement which will call a constructor of that class and that should be the first statement inside that constructor so we can't call more than one constructor from another constructor now if you want to call this constructor you know the constructor is gonna take which is gonna take a string parameter from this constructor you know the constructor which is taking an integer parameter then you can do that just by writing the this keyword and then the constructor call you know by using the parenthesis and then by passing the appropriate parameter so here just gonna pass no name all right now, similarly if you have a default constructor which will not take any parameter for example let me have the default constructor and here if you want to call this constructor then you just need to write this then you don't need to specify any parameters because this default constructor is not taking any parameters all right the next thing or the last thing that i want you guys to teach you in this tutorial is gonna be you can't use the this keyword inside a static method for example if we have a static method in our class here let me say um, static void then uh, how many students then inside this static method you know i can't use the this keyword that's because this will always refer to the instance from which we are accessing the method or you know the property but for the static methods they are the class resources you know they are not specific to an object and you know they're going to be shared by all the objects that we're going to be creating from that class and that's why you can't use the this keyword inside a static method so this is it guys this is about the this keyword in java which will always refer to the object from which we are referring a method or you know a member 
So we can use these constructors when we have instance variable hiding, you know, inside the methods where we have the local variables with the same name as the instance variable names. And then we can use this keyword to call one constructor from another constructor. And also we can't use our this keyword inside a static meta. So thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys think you guys have learned something from this tutorial, then please like this video and share it with your friends. And also you guys can like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad. And you guys can tweet me on Twitter at learning lad edu. And also get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and I'll see you in the next tutorial.